In developments that may change the Sudanese scene, a crucial meeting took place between the president of the Sudanese Sovereignty Council, Abdul Fattah al-Burhan, and the ousted Prime Minister, Abdullah Hamdouk, during which they reached an agreement to resolve the current political crisis. According to media reports, the United National Initiative in Sudan announced the approval of Abdullah Hamdouk's return as Prime Minister during the transitional period, in parallel with calls for demonstrations in rejection of the decisions previously taken by the Sudanese Army Chief Abdul Fattah al-Burhan. The agreement, according to the statement of the initiative, which includes academics, journalists and politicians, includes the release of all political detainees, the completion of consultations with political forces, with the exception of the National Congress Party, in addition to continuing the procedures for constitutional, legal and political consensus that govern the transitional period. This comes at a time when the Central Council of the Forces of Freedom and Change announced its adherence to reject negotiations and partnership with those it described as revolutionaries. The Sudanese Professionals Association, which played an essential role during the uprising that led to the overthrow of Omar al-Bashir in April 2019, also asked the Sudanese to continue pressing for the return of the city, calling for a number of gatherings throughout the week, including a massive million demonstration on Sunday.